Today's short is being brought to you by Goya Foods. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. And today is Tuesday, the 6th of December. This week, we are talking about teeing it up for the new year. And especially on this Tuesday, I wanted to talk a little bit about small changes, doing things incrementally. I call it small changes, big results. And first of all, if you could just stop for a second and just pause and think about how fast this year went by. Because obviously, we just do it. Like the saying is, one day at a time. That's all we can do, right? One day at a time. But look how fast this year went by. I mean, it, it's crazy to think that this year's already gone. We can talk about next year and how fast that's going to go and whatnot. But I thought about if we could just make some small changes in our lives, you know, in teeing up this next year. If we made some small changes in our life, imagine how much better it would be if we make those positive changes into action, put them into action, I should say. Let me give you an example. Here's some things that I've done in my life that have made a big difference for me. For example, coffee is about $4. You know, if you go get your favorite coffee, it's about $4 a day for each kind of a latte or whatever it may be. Let's just say that I had one less coffee a week. One, one less coffee a week. Okay, that's going to wrap up to about $230 a year. Imagine what kind of Christmas presents you could buy Imagine you could be sitting here right now and saying, I have an extra 230 bucks in my pocket to buy some Christmas presents this year because I laid off of one coffee a week. You see how that adds up? It's really worth it if you put it into motion. All right, let's just say that you're at the piano and you want to learn to play the piano. It says it takes really about a few hours to learn a song on the piano. Imagine if you did that 15 minutes a day. Well, you could be playing 25 new songs on the piano next year at Christmas. It's kind of a nice romantic thing to think about, isn't it? That you could be having 25 new songs that you could share with your family or your wife or your husband or whatever it may be. Hey, 25 new songs on the piano. I wish wish I could do that. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. All right. How about exercise? Now, this is something that people really do every year because they they try to make it one of their New Year's resolutions. I'm going to join the gym. I'm going to do it. And then when they get into about middle of March or April, they don't go to the gym anymore. But let's just imagine this. Let's say you don't have to do something so drastic as to spend thousands of dollars going to a gym. Let's say that you exercise about 20-minute walk every single day. Okay, that's about one mile. You're actually going to be walking a mile. Do you realize that at the end of the year, you could have walked from Sacramento to Los Angeles, 361 miles it is from Sacramento to Los Angeles, just by doing 20 minutes a day. 20, and, and it's going to be good for you, obviously, to just do that one 20-minute walk a day. You could walk from Sacramento to Los Angeles. It's amazing. So think about some things you can actually commingle with that walk, that 20-minute walk a day. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do. Like, for instance, imagine if you were able to do some meditation during that time, and you kind of add that up throughout the course of the year. How much better off would you be if you were able to meditate for 120 hours throughout the course of the year. I think it'd pay huge dividends. Or maybe you want to make a phone call. Maybe that's the time that you make an important phone call during the day for your work. When you have time where you're strolling for 20 or 30 minutes in a nice environment, you're probably going to have a better presence on the phone when you're making that phone call as well. So that's another thing you could do is make an important phone call. And lastly, how about listening to some, an audio book or listen to a a motivation book takes about what, 10 hours to listen to a full book. So figure 10 to 15 books a year that you could have, you know, in your memory bank that you could really benefit from. So there's lots of things that you can do during that time where you're going to take an exercise break and commingle it with some other things you want to do. And lastly, here's one that I really like to do. And this is one I almost chide myself for not doing because I want to do it. And sometimes I don't schedule it enough. So this is what I'm asking maybe you could do. Schedule this. And you ready for this one? Take a nap, one nap a day. Okay, if it's 30 minutes, even an hour, you take that one nap a day. Let's say you took an hour nap a day and you're able to schedule that. You're you're worth it. You can do it. Took one hour nap a day. You figure you can have over 360 more hours of sleep throughout the course of the year. I mean, how much better would you feel? You know, how much better results you're going to get when you go do your physical every year, right? How many less wrinkles are going to be on the face, right? I think that people should go out and schedule 
that one hour or 30 minute, whatever it may be, that one nap a day because we're all worth it, right? So we know that it's going to come fast. This year just zoomed right by us. And pretty soon we're going to be looking at 2023 at Christmas time and look back and see all the great changes that we made. And all it took was just the mindset to make some little changes, little changes and big results. And that's my short for today. Hey, everybody, Steve Sachs here. And if you're thinking about holiday gifts, why not give a Sachs in the morning mug or a hoodie or something from the swag department to keep up the inspiration and keep it fresh all day long. And don't forget the Sachs in the morning holiday gift cards available right now on the website. Or I can send a personalized audio message from you to whomever you wish. And you can find all of our gift ideas and my information for greetings right there on the website, SaxInTheMorning.com. And don't forget, if you or someone you know might be interested in a speaker for an event, you can find that information on the website as well. Just go to SaxInTheMorning.com. And thanks to Al Hendrickson Toyota for their support of this podcast. And be sure to visit AlHendricksonToyota.com. Toyota, let's go places.